Hello, thank you so much for coming back for another study of the prophetic layer of scriptures. And today we're going to talk about something that happened in Luke chapter 10. And we started talking about it when Lynn arrived at our Bible prophecy retreat where our team got to meet, some of us got to meet face to face for several days. It was so much fun. Well, one of the things she mentioned was that in Luke chapter nine, when the 12 were sent out to heal the sick and and cast out demons, they come back to Jesus and report what they did. And he's like, eh, okay, then other things happen. And then it's Luke chapter 10, Jesus sends out the 70. They come back and give a report of what happened. And Jesus makes a big deal about it and says, amazing things. He said, yeah, I saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. And then he said, be grateful that your names are written in the book of life and in heaven. And so we got wondering, why did Jesus make a big deal about the 70 coming back and reporting to him? and not so much about the 12 when they came back and reported to him. I mean, you can go back and read the account. It's absolutely remarkable once you point this out. And when Lynn began to mention that, we're thinking, oh my goodness, there is a mystery here we've got to figure There's out. There's a pre-trib rapture of the bride, a mid-trib rapture of the church, and then a post-trib rapture of sorts, a sideways rapture, a snatching of the gleanings, the remnant, and it's the parable of the wheat and tares. Now, the 12 that Jesus sent out represents the pre-trib rapture of the bride. The 70 that Jesus sent out later represents the mid-trib rapture of the church. The bride is going to go up pre-trib, get her glorified body, come down in hidden form, and serve the left behind church. All right. Then at mid-trib, the church is raptured up, and what is the first thing they do? What is the first thing on their to-do list? Well, we learn it from Revelation chapter 12. They kick the dragon, the serpent, Lucifer, out of the heavenlies and the remaining two-thirds of his angels his wicked angels. The Ephesians 6, 12, wicked rulers, powers, and principalities, they are going to be thrown down by the church because that's the job of the church. They are a militarized government and they will be completing the second thing on the Father's to-do They list. have the authority to throw the serpent and his wicked angels down to earth. See, Michael and his angels don't have that authority. They're not humans. They were not given um, kingship over the earth. Now, as we know, Adam lost his kingship, but Jesus bought it back through his work on the cross. So since that day, the church, God's righteous government, they have authority of what goes on on earth. Well, in order to kick Lucifer and all of his wicked angels out of heaven and down to earth. That's one of the many purposes for the mid-trib rapture of the church. Okay, something else Jesus said when the 70 came back and gave that report to Jesus. And he said, yeah, I saw Satan fall like lightning. Well, yeah, that is the, the red dragon being thrown out of heaven in Revelation chapter 12. But there's something else he said. Don't rejoice that you have power and authority over the dragon, Lucifer, and casting out of demons, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Oh, well that's because to the church in Sardis, one of the seven letters which are written to the left behind church, it is written that those who overcome, Jesus will not blot their names out of the book. So that's why he was telling the 70, rejoice. The reason why they got raptured or resurrected from the dead at mid-trib is because their names were written in the book of life. Okay, now I have a lot more to share about this whole scene here with the 12 and the 70, but I'm going to save that for other videos so that you can now study through those passages and double check our work here. And of course, we love it when you guys share your amazing percolations in the tab because you're part of the team. So I'll talk to you later.
Bye.